Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks for joining me. Um, today I'm doing a birthday card, and then at the end of the video, um, I just have a few little short updates, so I hope you stick around for that, or um, you can fast forward to the end, I guess. Um, today I'm doing a technique called bokeh, or bokeh. Um, from reading the definition of this, it just means blur or haze. It's a Japanese word. And I guess it's also a technique in photography. But I saw a, I don't remember, I think I saw it on Pinterest. Um, there are some beautiful projects using this technique, and um, it's been around for a while, I guess. But um, this is the first that I've seen of it, and this is the first time I'm going to try it. So um, I, have, I had a great time making this card. Um, so whenever I start a project, I usually get out my little, I call this my little color book. Um, and look through it to see what I want to use. Um, I end up using the Gansai Tambi watercolors, and I don't know if I'm saying that right either, um, but I think I bought these at Hobby Lobby with my 40% off coupon. Um, and there's my little egg container. I was looking for something to put my water in, and I didn't have anything, but that was sitting there, and so it actually ended up working out perfectly. I filled up two little egg portions, one for my clear water and one for my dirty water, and it worked out great. Um, I think I probably will still use some of the suggestions that were given to me regarding what, in, what to do with that container, um, but yeah, that worked out wonderful. Um, so my card base is going to be six and a quarter by five, and my watercolor piece is five and three quarters by four and a half, and I'm using Canson XL watercolor paper. Um, and I've taken that paper and I've taped it down with painter's tape to a clipboard. And I'm just taking my paint and I've spritzed the entire paper so that the watercolors um, kind of move freely. And so I'm just picking out colors, um, getting my brush wet, and then putting the color down on the paper. Um, water coloring isn't something that I have a lot of experience with. I just love doing it because I love the way the colors mix. I love that it's kind of random and, um, you know, it's kind of, I mean, the way I do it anyhow, I don't know how to, <laughs> to do it really. I kind of just... Um, experiment and practice with it and see how it turns out and sometimes it turns out wonderful and sometimes it doesn't turn out wonderful but um, I'm kind of learning how to do it and so um, I actually really enjoy it and I, I like how this turned out um, so I just spread different colors around the whole sheet and then I take my heat tool and dry it off and then when I take the tape off, I just fold it over on itself. I think that's the easiest way to not tear the paper. Um, it's just to roll it off like that. Um, originally, I was going to use some paper punches and do the circle method because a lot of the projects I've seen on Pinterest are showing like circle templates and that's what the haze portion of this technique is. And so I did try and do that. I had some transparency film, which is fairly thick, and I had some hand punches. And whenever I would try and punch the transparency film, it would get stuck in my hand punch. And so I kind of abandoned that whole thing. And then re later realized that I could have probably just taken my circle dies and cut those out with my Big Shot machine. But as I was going through my stencils to try and find some circle um, stencils. I found this really pretty um, Heidi Swap stencil. It's kind of a floral. And so um, this is a birthday card for my mother-ish in-law. Um, it's my boyfriend's mother. It's her 80th birthday. And so um, it just made me think of her and I just thought it would be perfect. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking some white pigment ink and this is an Umbrella Crafts pigment ink. And I'm taking my little finger dauber and putting it in the ink and just kind of bouncing it around the card. And I end up doing this twice. I go over the whole card once and then I pull it up and it's not dark enough. And so I put it back down and um, go over it some more. And then here I'm going over and creating some dots with a circle stencil. 
and then end up just putting the ink down with my dauber by itself. <laughs> um, and I've also seen people use into pencils to the, you know, the eraser portion of the pencil to dab on um, the white ink also. So I think you just kind of do <laughs> what works in an experiment and see how it turns out. Um, this ink is really, really wet. Uh, it was very messy. And I, tr I tried to dry it, but yeah, it didn't. It didn't dry well. So I guess you just have to let it dry. Um, but I end up going over a lot of the portions that I did in the pigment ink. I end up going back over it in the watercolor. Um, the stencil didn't turn out exactly how I was thinking it would, and <clears throat> I think it's because there's so many variations of color, like there's lighter colors and darker colors on this, that it captures some of the stencil, but not all of it. Um, but I do think it's really pretty regardless. And so I'm taking um, a piece of paper from this DCWV stack, and I cut it to the same size as my card base and I just take my tape runner and adhere that to the card base and then I also trim the white edges from the watercolor piece <clears throat> and it seemed kind of bright to me and I was wanting more of that hazy look and so that's why I pulled out the vellum um, because I was kind of going for more of a subtle hazy look kind of like the technique is supposed to be um, but it didn't really turn out that way, the way that I did it. And so I went ahead and I got a piece of vellum and I cut it slightly bigger than the size of the watercolor piece. And um, I'll just go over that with my tape runner and adhere that to the front. Uh, I think I will probably try and do another card and use and really try and use the bouquet uh, technique with circles or shapes or whatever I'm going to use um, because it's not it didn't really turn out the way that I did it it didn't really have that effect um, especially since I went over a lot of the stuff with watercolors after I had already inked it up but uh, I think I'm going to try it again and um, you know there's just so many different things that you could do with this but I actually really, I really love this card. I love the colors on the card, and I like the um, vellum covering it. Um, I think it kind of mutes it a little bit, which is what I was wanting. And so I just think it's really pretty. And I hope my mother-in-law likes it also. So um, I put on the front, happy, 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 and I do that using a little yellow bicycle die um, that says happy, and I'm going to use some fun foam, and first I use the fun foam, and I cut it out, and then I <laughs> cut out some cardstock, and I was going to attach the two together, and the cardstock I use is actually adhesive cardstock, and so I finally light bulb went off and I was like why don't you just take the cardstock and adhere it to the phone Jennifer and then you only have to cut it once <laughs> so I do end up doing that here here is where I, um, I put the cardstock down and then I die cut that um, and I was worried that it wouldn't cut because of the foam and I ran it through a couple of times which is also a no-no because if you run it through your die cutting machine too many times it will flatten out the foam too much so your foam is not as thick as what you were expecting it to be. <laughs> um, so I just adhere these with some multimedia mat. I don't have the little bottle and so I'm just taking an old paintbrush and I'm brushing it on the um, the die cut. Um, I tried using a glue pin, but I don't think it was. Uh, I don't know that it would have held as well as the multimedia mat. Um, so I adhered all three of those, and I placed acrylic blocks on them to um, kind of give them some weight while they're drying. 
Um, the sentiment I'm using is a birthday set from Stampendus. And it's just got a, a lot, it's just a birthday themed, it's got a lot of birthday sentiments. Um, and since it's a new stamp, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, stamp tool. And this is a Hampton Arts Stamp Perfect tool, which I absolutely love. And I love the price even more. <laughs> so it just says happy birthday to you. And I'm doing that in black memento ink. And then I also take a Dilutions stamp, and I'm not sure what the set is because I don't have the original packaging anymore, but it's just this um, kind of like floral pattern. And I take one of my um, dew drops in a purple color and ink that up and put that on the card. And then I take some Nouveau drops, and I believe this is Carnation. The color is Carnation. And I do a few drops after the last happy. And then I also take some um, glossy accents and do a few clear drops <clears throat> um, throughout the card. And that is pretty much it for this card. And um, I really loved making it, and I can't wait to, to try this technique again. Um, on another card. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you next time. Um, before I go, I wanted to do a few quick, quick, quick updates. Um, my crash barn, I haven't had a lot of time <laughs> recently to do much on it um, with the holidays coming up and a bunch of stuff going on right now. So um, I have bought the wood for my shutters and I just need to get some white paint. And so I will do a tutorial on how I make those shutters um, and so that's probably going to be my next video and then I try to think um, my next project for my craft barn will probably be to get the IKEA um, storage containers so that I can move that dresser out so um, that'll probably be after the shutters um, a couple other quick things. Um, I'm going to do a Easter DIY decoration video, and I'm going to also do a um, small bathroom um, kind of makeover. And then um, hopefully I will have my Distress Oxide inks soon. I actually won the whole set of Distress Offside inks from Jennifer McGuire's website. Um, she has giveaways all the time for products and um, if you like comment she'll usually like ask a question and you comment and it's just like a random generator that picks the winner and I happen to be the winner and I was thrilled because it would have taken me, you know, there's no way I would have been able to get that whole set all at once. Um, so I was just ecstatic that I won. Uh, but what happened was the person that won before me won a stamp set and her name was Jennifer H. something also. And so on accident, Jennifer McGuire had sent, there's so many Jennifers, um, Jennifer McGuire had sent her both of the um, products. She had sent her the stamps that, that she won and then she had also sent my inks to her. Um, by mistake and so she's had to reorder those and so um, I check the mail every day to see if they come but they're not here yet so I look forward to um, working with those but um, thank you so much for joining me and subscribing and um, I really do appreciate um, all the comments that I get um, even I mean I don't usually get not nice comments I've only had like maybe one or two but um, I really do appreciate the support and I look forward to making another video and I hope you will join me for that thank you so much bye